Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to start a new series called iTip Tuesday. You didn't see a tip yesterday for Monday because I really didn't have anything I thought that would be more relevant to this week with the new iPad coming out. So let's go ahead and take a look at this week's tip. It's beam your photos. Now with the new iPhoto that came out for iPad or that was announced along with the new iPad came the option to to beam your photos. So that means you take a photo, you can transfer it from here to your phone or from your phone and back. So let me show you how to do that. If we go into my phone, I took a couple photos of the setup we have right here where I'm taking photos of, of what it actually looks like when I'm recording a video. So if I go into my iPhoto app, you can't do it from photos. You have to go into iPhoto. So you have to buy the $5 app and it's $5. It will work on both devices. I'll go into my camera roll. And let's, it's going to update my photos. It's a picture of a soda can I took. Scroll here. Uh, here is one of the views from when I'm recording. You can see there's my microphone and behind it is this iPad and there's a tripod in the way. So let me go ahead and beam that. And what that will do is let me go into iPhoto here on my, on my uh, iPad here. And let's go into beamed. And here we have Oh, that's another picture. Here we have uh, the photo of my microphone and my iPad. We hit this little share button and we have the option to beam. So let me go ahead and beam selected. It found my iPad on my network beam photos. It'll pop up on here. It says, do you want to accept from my iPhone? Yes. It'll take a second. It will beam the photo across and we'll have the photo really pretty simple. And a little bit confusing why they would do this now with iCloud. They should kind of do that on their own, you would think. Uh, let me go ahead and do that once more. Here's another view. This is my iPad. Here's the actual audio recording unit I use. It's my uh, XLR cable to USB. It's a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. So let's go ahead and send it. Beam. Selected. iPad. Beam. A little bit of a hassle. I mean, it's not horrible. Uh, you do have to push a few buttons and not terrible but a little bit too many steps it seems like sometimes so let's go ahead and we'll close out of it on the iphone we have it over here and from here we can edit so you can see here's my microphone here's my tripod there's the ipad just as i'm seeing it right now while i'm recording this video so that's pretty much it here's the focus right device you can see there's a little verizon sim card thing in the background and some input and output so pretty nice and iPhoto is decent, but uh, a lot of the times you need to get your photos into it before you can do anything with it. So that's how you do that. So you beam your photos from one to the other and it works really nice. Now I'd like to hear from your experiences with iPhoto. I actually have my new iPad ordered. It should be here this week. So we'll be taking a look at that a little bit later. But uh, overall, I think iPhoto is great. This is an iPad 2 and it runs quite well. I'd like to hear what you have to say about iPhoto if you've used it a little bit and maybe wondered how to beam the photos or you've used it and you really like it or maybe you, you don't like it so much. Please go ahead and comment below and uh, let us know what you think. Otherwise, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.